on today's episode of Moto Cheese. That's right, another TIG welder. This time it's a V-Vore TIG stick in clean mode. So supposedly you can clean after you weld, clean it up a little bit. Let's see how this thing works. Nice little holder for the gun here. Hmm, looks like it comes with a big cup like Gary prefers. Jeez, this one's really light. So 10 amps to 210 amps. So at 210 amps, this is 30% duty cycle. Weighs 18.8 pounds. It's Vivor, which has a huge line of products. And uh, if you order it off their website, it's a two-day delivery. 30-day free return if you don't like it when you get it. With a 12-month warranty. If you sign up for the website, you'll get almost $40 off. So this machine is 220 volt and 110 volt. It's supplied with the adapter. Standard 50 amp 220 volt receptacle for welder. And it looks like it goes down to a 120 volt 30 amp. This does not come with a flow meter regulator. It has a little wire holding rack here. I'm going to try to do this weld in here on my own. So that's how you can wind uh, cables around there. Not a bad idea. I'm supplied with a 10 foot hose. That doesn't clamp on the wire very tight there. So it's showing a ground clamp for a positive. And this does not supply a stinger, so you'd have to buy one of those. Ground cable is six foot long. Positive ground for welding with DC. This is a DC welder, so you can't weld aluminum. Well, you can, but it's just it's not going to come out very nice. Comes with a four foot power cable. Ten foot hose for the argon. So this unit's 14 and 3 quarter by 6 by about 10 inches high. Weighs 18.8 pounds. Hmm. See if it has enough flow for one of these. Pointy. And you gotta grind in this direction because you want the lines to be this way for welding. And that goes on there. I guess that just holds on like that. This has to go in here, right? But it falls away in there. So then as Gary says, the width of this, you can have the tip sticking out. And if I tighten that up, does it hold it? Oh yeah, there it is. I'd be shocked if this has a flow for that. Pretty cool though. Glass lens. Cool, comes with a bag for the torch. We're going to be using 220. I know it's not very smart welding next to a wood pile there, but I'll keep an eye on it, boys. Never said I was a professional. So this has peak amps. It's on MMA right now. So we're going to do TIG. That's peak amps. Pulse flow is two seconds. Let's go up to three. 
free flow is one second that'll be enough peak amps is a hundred we'll, we'll try it at a hundred we'll get a thin piece pulse frequency that must be for pulse only huh let's see yeah peak on time 30 pulse frequency is 10 Base amps is 30. Pulse welding, huh? Then we're going to go 2T. So that's when you hold the trigger, it comes on. When you let off, it goes off. 4T is click it on and click it off. So that has pulse, DC, and spot, huh? Let's clean up this piece of dirty metal. Cleaner to metal the better, and that's not exactly perfect. I don't know, boys. Set our flow it's about 30, maybe, because that's a pretty big cup, right? I put a light on my helmet, thought I was being ingenious. And then I found out other people do it online. <laughs> so I'm ingenious. So I honestly have no idea what I'm doing. Before I even use the dab and stick, I guess we're gonna see if I can even hold a little art. Oh, look at that. I think I might be able to do it. Probably 16th of an inch, which would be what? I'm gonna try it at 60, let's see. I did do that without dabbing. Wow, look. Look at that. I can actually do it. I should put gloves on now. That was silly of me. That's like my first successful TIG weld. I'm going to drop the amperage down even more. I'm going to drop it down to 40. I'm impressed with myself. Kind of impressed with myself on that. We'll get some close-ups. How about I try to join this piece of tin with that piece of tin. Of course, I'm using 100% pure argon in my tank over there. I'm still at 40 amps. Might have to go up in the amperage. Go up to 50. Okay. Let's screw up the tip. No, it's not great. <laughs> not exactly the way it's supposed to be, right? Gonna take some practice, boys. At least I could do it. I'm pulling away too fast. I'm getting contaminants. Try another spot here. Yeah, that's better. I'm pulling away too fast. 
I don't know if this will bridge or if I'm just not good enough. Pull away too fast, like I'm welding. Trying to bridge, unsuccessful. <laughs> Did all right. Now there's a clean on here. I don't know what the heck it does. The clean function, though, I don't know what that does yet. It doesn't do anything. I wonder what pulse does. Let's see. So it has pulse and spot. Let's see. That's it. So you can set the time for how long you want the spot. So should we try something a little bit heavier? Eighth of an inch. So what would that be? We'll do about one. 120. Still on spot. Did all right, huh? That might be a little bit big. Like Gary said, that's a little too much for that tungsten. But we'll try it anyway. I'll go down to a hundred. Keep pulling away. Still learning, boys. I think that did pretty good, plus my point is gone. I am not a professional. This is my first semi-decent TIG weld. So don't laugh. So see, it's, it's still a little porous, as Gary would say. That's my one weld. You need a good table and you gotta be steady, too. That one wasn't too bad. <laughs> Forget about these. And that's on like the eighth inch, that eighth inch piece. I mean, right now, that tip is a little eaten up. Pretty good, pretty good little unit. It's pretty wild how something this small can weld that good now. The tin on it is kind of a little cheesy, if I would say, but it's nice and light. It's my first successful TIG weld, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see how this thing packs away. <laughs> Looks crappy, but she's holding. I gotta get myself a nice workbench so you can rest your hand and keep steady and consistent as you're going so you can watch it and dab. And I probably need a pair of reading glasses so I can get really, really close. My old eyes aren't what they used to be. Let that slide down in there. You know what? I'm pretty happy with that weld. 
got to start somewhere. And I think this is perfect for starting and learning. I think I did all right. What do you guys think? Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on MotoCheese.com. Thanks for watching.